we were looking for a place for um, our day services and we were concerned about getting something that was close enough, quality, that could provide the opportunity for people to engage with the community. And when this came up, we were just so delighted and we came here and I couldn't quite believe it. It was just amazing. There's a terrific amount of space for people. It's accessible to transport, accessible to the community and has opportunities within it that people will want to come here. They'll actually want to participate. So bringing the community here, bringing tertiary institutes here. Look, I'm very impressed with it. I think um, the fact that it's such a, a huge open spaced area um, allows for the um, integration of all the people that uh, access day services and uh, hopefully when we get a response facility out of this as well will be the big thing. Yeah, currently down at um, uh, Crowell, the Crowell site where Natalie uh, goes to her day service program. Um, they're very small rooms, it's a very antiquated building, uh, asbestos riddled um, and, and the site itself is um, very uneven and uh, of course it makes it difficult for people with mobility issues to, to get around. So uh, having something living there and go to day services, I mean they're virtually in the same prison day in and day out, so that's, that's a big plus. And then the other thing of course is that there's going to be a respite facility here. There are a lot of people in the right area with a disability, intellectual and physical disability, um, that have nowhere to go at the moment. So, um, and of course the, the, uh, uh, the government hasn't got capital money for, to build these places, so it's up to organisations like Achieve to actually go out, um, find the land, if they can, um, and then build. If we could raise funds, we could provide a better quality, higher staff ratios and better access to the pathways that people need to get access to. They need access to leisure activities, training opportunities, educational opportunities and as a goal for some people to work. So they could come here, do an educational program, linking in with local TAFE, local tertiary institutes and then uh, moving on into work from there. Also means that we may be able to seed and fund our own respite program. And if we can do that, that will just be terrific. That'll be absolutely icing on the cake.